Hey guys, bit of a different video today from me, but I am a huge Pokemon fan, as you probably know if you've followed me for a while, and I love looking at all the new Pokemon that come out every generation of Pokemon. So what I've decided to do is just look at this video on YouTube, which has all the new Pokemon uh, that have been uh, released in Scarlet and Violet in them and just give a little ranking and thoughts on them. Um, I have seen them all, so this isn't a blind response, but I just wanted to give my thoughts on all the new Pokemon, what I think about them, what I think about the designs. I'll probably just gloss through them all because otherwise it will go for a very long time. But we start off with our grass starter, Sprigatito, I believe is his name. And uh, I actually really like this, this Pokemon. I think the design is really good, really natural. I prefer more, um, yeah, natural based Pokemon as opposed to um, humanoid kind of looking ones. So I really like this as a grass starter. Little grass cat is really good. It evolves into Florigato, cool flower. Gato is cat, that's a cool name, but I hate the direction it's going already. It's turning into like a humanoid um, dancer kind of thing. And uh, I, I don't like it. I really wish we could have gotten quadrupedal, big cat, grass type. That would have been awesome. And of course, the evolution is our boy uh, Meowscarada, who again, I don't like at all. I really hate the direction this one went. Sorry if that annoys everyone, but I just, I'm really disappointed with how my boy Sprigatito went because I would have chosen Sprigatito. I think he's the probably my favorite first stage of the starters. Um, moving on, we of course have Fue Coco. I don't, I don't know about Fue Coco. I don't really like his design. He's this cute, he kind of looks like Gon, that old dragon from that game. He was in a Tekken game. I don't love him. He then becomes a uh, Crocolore, which is like this, again, another fire crocodile kind of thing with a sombrero style fire hat to match the Spanish region. I don't mind that. And I'm a big Totodile fan and I love all the crocodile Pokemon. So Totodile's line, um, uh, Sandile's line. I really like them. These guys are kind of cool and they eventually become uh, Skeledurge, who probably is my favorite stage three of the three starters. Really cool. Fire Crocodile. I mean, the, the teeth design is really weird. I, I don't love it. It looks really blocky, but yeah, I like that it's a monster and that's what I always like about starters when they're literally monsters. We then, of course, have our boy Quaxley, a very popular starter. Not too much to say about him and his sort of Elvis Presley style hair, but Quaxley's cool um, and he becomes Quaxwell. I love that name and I don't mind Quaxwell. Of course, it becomes a water fighting type, um, which we've had a few of in the past and he eventually becomes Quaquavel. Um, which again, I don't love the, the, the bipedal humanoid looking duck. I kind of wish, well, I, I don't know. I don't know what I wanted this one to become. It's not bad, but generally I, I'm not a huge fan of that. And I think Skeledurge is my favorite of the three. Moving forward, of course, we have Lechonk already revealed prior to the game coming out. Little Pig, do like it as a little starting um, normal type, you know, on, on par with your your Rattatas, your Zigzagoons, your Sentrits, your Bidoofs. Like I, I like a little little normal type pig um, and he becomes Oink, Oinkalone, which is a cool name. Um, I assume, you know, Cologne, maybe, I don't know. I, I don't know. But there's a male and female sort of variant, which is cool. I don't mind that. And I, I like that design. I think it's a cool design and, you know, good early starter, good organic Pokemon design. Um, then we unfortunately have the evolution of Dunsparce, do Dunsparce hate this. And the reason I hate it is because Dunsparce has been like, Dunsparce is like that dud looking design Pokemon. And I remember when Gold and Silver came out, I was like, what is this Pokemon? And over the years, so many people have made these amazing evolution kind of fan, fan, pokey, po yeah, fake mons of Dunsparce. Like it becomes a grass dragon type or a, uh, sorry, normal dragon type or a normal fairy type. And it's awesome. They just made a bigger Dunsparce, do Dunsparce. Don't like it. It feels like actually a bit of a troll from Game Freak to design it this way. And I just think there could have been such a much better evolution for Dunsparce. So to me, this is pretty disappointing. And I think it's almost like a middle finger to the fan base. Okay, 
We then have Tarantula. I really like that name. I love all the spider Pokemon, whether it's Ariados or Galvantula. This is cool, but I don't really like the design. I, I think Galvantula and Ariados are much cooler in terms of spiders. Spydops, he's kind of cool. Um, it's just a bug type. I guess I like the idea that it, I don't know, uses its webs and it's a bit more of a, again, a humanoid style spider as opposed to the more normal sp spider looking Pokemon. But yeah, not a big fan of them. Um, Moving on, we have Nimble, who is another bug type. I don't think it's related to Spidops and Tarantula, but I don't know what it is. Maybe a little grasshopper kind of thing. Don't like it. And Low Kicks, maybe that evolves from Nimble, possibly. Not sure. Don't like it. It's just, I don't, I don't understand what it is. I'm not a fan of him. We then have Relor, who is like a dung beetle. I don't mind this concept. It's uh, another bug type that becomes Rabska, I believe. Maybe the scar is like scat, which is animal poo. It's a bug psychic type. I kind of like the concept that it has psychic poo, um, but I don't know. It's uh, again, it looks like a grandpa bug. I I, I, I really love, I, I'm, I'm a Gen 1 -er and I just love you. Your bee drills and your Butterfreeze, like those organic Pokemon. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what this guy is. I don't like him. Um, don't worry. I do like some of these Pokemon, um, including this next guy who was revealed before um, before the uh, games came out, which is Grievard. This cute little um, puppy dog, this dead puppy dog, kind of like um, Zero from The Nightmare Before Christmas, has a candle on its head. And I did really like... I thought in that reveal trailer with the candle, we might have been seeing um, an Evel uh, a Litwick or a Chandelure kind of variant, but no. We got um, Grievard, who evolves into Houndstone. Love the execution of this concept. This is a great Pokemon concept. You know, ghost sort of dog. Um, it, it goes from candle to tombstone. I really like it. Great. Would absolutely... This, this could be a Gen 1 or 2 Pokemon, I think. This is a really great design, in my opinion. It really does well. Flittle is like this little bell kind of thing. It's a it's a psychic type that uh, the design does nothing for me. It evolves into Esparthra, which I believe is like an ostrich. It's a psychic type. And I again, just a bit too much going on in this design for me. I mean, we do have Doduo and Do Dodrio, the emu kind of Pokemon. Oh, well, the Do Dodo emu sort of style, flightless bird sort of style Pokemon. This is the first, I think, ostrich, emu, cassowary kind of Pokemon. I don't mind it in concept, but I think there's just a little bit too much design-wise going on with the hair and the multicolored neck. It's not doing it for me. Faragarif, um, I mean, Girafferig has had a lot of fake mon evolutions for it. Faragarif, I actually don't mind at all. I think it's a good concept that the tail ends up growing over its head. I am happy that Girafferig got an evolution. I think it's it's cool. I'm ha really happy with this one. I do think there's some much better fake mon ones, but you know, I do think this is a good evolution and I'm really fine with that. We then have Wiglet, who definitely began as a variant of Diglett, but I think then they just decided in development, no, let's make it just similar to Diglett. Um, don't mind this design. I mean, it harkens back to Diglett, who's a cool original design, but I don't know, it, it, it's water type. I, I, look, I don't mind Wiglet, and then it becomes Wugtrio, of course, just sort of a water Dugtrio kind of type. Don't mind that either. I mean, it's very simple. It's a bit wacky, um, but doesn't do heaps for me, but it's not terrible. Moving on, we have Don Dozo. This is a water type. It kind of reminds me of um, this Pokemon. I can never remember. Uh, I can never remember its name, but Wishcash. Wishcash is its name. Kind of reminds me of that. It's like a catfish Pokemon. Um, yeah, cool water fish Pokemon design. The, the fish style Pokemon never really do much for me, so I don't care too much about that. Then we have Veluza, who's almost like a, I don't know, like a shark kind of Pokemon. I do really like this design. It's a water psychic type, I think. And yeah, I, I think this is a strong, strong design for a Pokemon. So I really like just, it's it's quite natural looking. There's a lot going on with the colors, but I don't mind it. Okay, we then have Finazen, the first dolphin Pokemon, and people have been wanting a dolphin Pokemon for a very, very long time. And this is really interesting, but I, I again, perfect design. It's a water type, I'm pretty sure. 
Perfect design. It's just a dolphin. A little bit of Pokemon S features. I think that's really good. Could be a Gen 1. Could be Gen 2 or 3. I really like this design. It then becomes Palafin, which is really weird because it's got two forms. It's got the normal zero form, which just looks like um, uh, Finazen with a heart on it. And then it's got the hero form, which is like this buff dolphin hero kind of thing. And I don't mind the design of Palafin. I think it's I think it's cool. This like superhero buff dolphin. Cool. Like that design. Like that evolution line a lot. Um, we then have Smoliv, which always reminds me just of Budju, the Ro Rosa Roselia um, pre-evolution. Smoliv is cool. It's sort of, again, Budju or Oddish. It's, it's one of those grass types. I don't mind it at all. Then becomes Doliv, which is again turning Pokemon into humanoids. I don't like it. And then this one, uh, what is it called? Arboliva. Don't like it. It just ends up being another humanoid two-legged. It's it's an olive tree. I, I I mean, it could grow on me. It just there's just I don't know. It's just uh, it's weird. It's not a it, I don't know. I don't like it. Let's see. I don't like it. Capsa Kid is is this cool little uh, capsicum Pokemon. I kind of like that design. It's just an orth it's a pretty pretty cool classic Pokemon design. I don't mind it at all. And it becomes Scavillian, this big uh, capsicum Pokemon with two heads, one red, one green, and it's a grass fire type. Lots of people for a long time have done fan Pokemon of a grass fire type chili or capsicum Pokemon. And I think this is a great execution. I don't love the design of the heads, but I think this is a good execution and a great way of implementing that type because I'm not sure if we've seen a grass fire type before. So that's cool. Cool type combination. And I think that could be, um, it, it, I think it's, I, I like it. I'm, I'm happy with this. Tadbulb, the light bulb tadpole feels interesting because it, it it's an electric type. We've already got Tim Pole who becomes electric and we've also got um, whatever the pre-evolution of uh, Seismitoad is, it kind of reminds me of them. Don't mind it, and I don't mind what it becomes, Belly Bolt, who is a little bit wacky in design, but does remind me of those early Pokemon like Lickitung, Chansey, um, Quagsire, Pokemon like that, and po Poliwag, Poliwrath, it, it, Politoad. I don't mind Belly Bolt. I don't love it, but I don't, I don't mind it. Next, we have Varum and uh, this car evolution line, the steel poison line. I, it evolves into Revavroom. I'm mixed on this. I like the idea of having a car Pokemon, but I don't love the design. But I do like conceptually steel poison being a car, obviously because cars are metal and the fumes from cars are poisonous to the environment. I like that concept. I think it's a decent execution of the concept, but I'm sure there are better fan-made Fakemon out there with that concept. Okay. We then have Orthworm, steel type. I like this guy. He's he could be he he's he seems pretty cool. You know, just a steel earthworm Pokemon, this big worm, friendly looking worm. Yeah, this this I vibe with. Okay. Following that, we have interesting one, Tandemouse, another Pokemon that will raise lots of questions in the fandom, like Kangaskhan having the baby in its pouch, uh, like Magneton just being three Magnemites, Dugtrio just being three Diglets, uh, exec Execute just being a bunch of eggs. Which one is the Pokemon? If you remove one, is it still the po Pokemon? Tandemouse is that. Two mice. Um, and then it becomes Mousehold. Great names. Tandemouse, two mice, and then Mousehold, household. So it's like a family of mice, but they're one Pokemon. Don't really get it. Can you kill one of them and they're still a Pokemon? I don't know. But design-wise, I like I, I do like these guys. I, I think they're really cool. Um, love Satoddle. I think he's one of the cutest new Pokemon and I absolutely love it as an ice type. Becoming Satitan. The design I like less than Satoddle, but I do like conceptually this Pokemon a lot. Then we have Frigibax, which becomes Ar Arctabax and Baxcalibur. I love Baxcalibur. I don't really like the first two, but Baxcalibur... One incredible name, Dragon Ice type, but that design there, to me, that's what OG Pokemon were in design philosophy. Very simplistic, a few bits and pieces coming on. Does have Charizard-ish vibes, and I do love me some Charizard, but generally speaking, this might be one of my favorite designs of this new series. It's just such a great Pokemon design. 
We then have three forms of Tatsuguri, which I think is like a sushi or nigiri kind of Pokemon. It's dragon water type, and it has three forms. The curly form, droopy form, and stretchy form. Don't know what that means battle mechanics wise, but don't mind these. Yeah, I, I, I don't mind them. That's all I'll say. Cyclozar, dragon normal. I quite like as well. I think it's a cool design being like a motorbike dragon um, and it's obviously linked to the legendary Pokemon of the games. I actually quite like the design. I think it does work. The wheels are interesting, but no, conceptually, I think he works and he's a cool dragonish design. Poor Me, which I believe is the Pikachu clone for this generation, is very cute. I do like it. It's electric type and becomes poor Mo, electric fighting, and then poor Mott is the final electric fighting. And I do like them as a pick a clone. I don't think we've ever had a three stage pick a clone um, from memory. Usually they're just single stage, but yeah, I don't mind this. I think poor Me is my favorite. I wouldn't have minded if it was just poor Me. Moving on, we have Wattrel, this electric bird, pretty standard. This could easily be a Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3 Pokemon. Kind of looks like Talo, and I love electric flying as a type, and then I love the name of the evolution, Killer Wattrel. This guy's very cool. Really rate this design, and I really like the name. I really like the theme. It's cool. Bombardier, which kind of looks like maybe a, um, uh, whatever that bird is that brings, that's supposed to bring babies. I think that might be the concept here. I like that as well. I, I think it's very easy to make good bird Pokemon, but yeah, I really like that Pokemon. Flying dark type, good type. Squawkabilly is the next flying, which is just a parrot type with multiple colors. I think this is really cool. Really good design. Again, birds seem to be the easiest designs to make. And we also have Chatot in an earlier generation, but I do like this guy. We also have Toucanon, the Toucan, but yeah, this guy feels cool. Feels like a great, um, just normal parrot type. Oh no, it's, is it not? Yeah, it's normal flying. We all need a normal flying every gen, and I do like this design. Flamingo, I'm very mixed on this. Again, it's very generic Flamingo Pokemon, flying fighting type. I think it just captures what a flamingo is. They're not trying to do anything special, which I like, but it does feel somewhat underwhelming. But then the simplicity I do like, I don't know what I would have wanted from a flamingo. So this is a, a pass for me. I like it. Okay, Clawf, the rock crab. I actually really like this guy. And he reminds me a lot of, if you've ever played the video game Banjo-Kazooie on Nintendo 64, in the beach level, Treasure Trove Cove, there's a crab you have to fight. Reminds me of him. Do like this giant crab. I think it's a good design. We've obviously already got Krabby, Kingler, um, Korf, uh, Kr oh, there's lots of crabs. That's all I'll say. I, d I like this guy. Um, this next one, Nackley, is an interesting one. The Salt Rock Pokemon. Looks like a mushroom from Super Mario. I love the name. I, I love some of the names of this line. Nackley, Knuckle Stack, and Gaga Knuckle are really cool, but. I think conceptually they're just a bit blocky and they don't really do it too much for me as a line. Glimmet, I don't know what this is supposed to be and I frankly don't care. It's rock poison, does nothing for me. Evolution is Glamora, again, do not care, does nothing for me. Okay, we have Shrewdel and Grafefe. I don't like Shrewdel and I don't get how Shrewdel becomes Grafefe, but I do like the idea of Gra Grafefe being a graffiti Pokemon, poison normal, I like it in concept. Design is cool. I don't mind this guy at all. Um, I absolutely love these next two, Fido and Dashbun. Absolutely adorable dog Pokemon based on like desserts and pastries. Amazing fairy type, of course. I think these guys are really cool. Good design, great concept. Again, dog Pokemon often do really well. Growlithe, Arcanine, Houndor, Houndoom, Snubble, Granbull, and there's heaps of dogs in this. And I really like Mastiff and Mabastiff. Lol, Mabastiff. I really do like uh, these designs as well. I think they're cool. Um, and yeah, really happy with those dark types. Bramblin, I think, is supposed to be a tumbleweed ghost grass Pokemon. I don't mind the concept. We've also had in Gen 6 Pumpkaboo and Trevenant, which I think are much better than these two, but these could grow on me. I think they're kind of cool as like ghostly tumbleweeds. Gimme Ghoul, who was revealed before the games came out, is an interesting one. It's got its chess form and its roaming form. It's like a money kind of thing. Mm, I 
just passes for me, but I'm not I'm not sold on it. Followed by Goldengo, which I think is the goofiest looking Pokemon. It kind of reminds me of Gumby mixed with like the Silver Surfer from Marvel. Um, he's kind of cool, I guess, but he's he's a bit dumb, and I'd be freaked out if I ever saw one in real life. Then we have these like past and future forms that don't have like the names, but you know, we've got Donphan here, which is great tusk. I really like that. Donphan's a great Pokemon concept and great tusk turning him into like a mammoth style is really cool. That's the past form of um, Donphan ground fighting. Brute Bonnet is um, this dude, Amoongus, and I, I don't mind this. It becomes a grass dark type. Never really liked Amoongus, but I don't mind I, I don't mind these concepts of Pokemon. Now we have Sandy Shocks, uh, which is Magneton from the future, I'm going to say, or maybe the past, and it's uh, Electric Ground. Don't mind it. Uh, doesn't do too much for me, but yeah, sure. Screamtail is getting some Jigglypuff love, which we love. It's like this evil monster Jigglypuff from the future or the past again. I don't know. Fairy Psychic. It's cool. I mean, I still love Jigglypuff so much, the normal Jigglypuff from uh, Smash Bros, but this is a cool little addition to a Pokemon who, with, who needs some much needed love. Raw, uh, Slitherwing is our neck. Oh no, Fluttermane, which is Mistrevious. Looks very much like the OG Mistrevious. It becomes Ghost Fairy. It's, uh, it's fine. I like Mistrevious as a Pokemon, so I enjoy this guy as well. Slithering, Slitherwing is Volcarona. It becomes Bug Fighting. Uh, don't love Volcarona. Don't love this too much. We then have Roaring Moon, which is Salamence from the future Dragon Dark. This is cool. Love the wings. Um, Salamence is a cool Pokemon, so this one, yeah, this one comes out pretty well. Um... This one is Iron Treads, which is it a Don fan from the future as well, but it's like all ironed up. I like this. I like steel futuristic looking Pokemon. It's cool. I like the tusk. Um, yeah, I enjoy this a fair bit. Iron Moth is a future Volcarona. This one's way cooler. Again, that futuristic jagged style. It's very digimon -y to me, um, but yeah, I quite like this much more than the past form Volcarona. Iron Hands is Hariyama. I don't like Hariyama. I think his design is really weird. And this one is like a futuristic uh, Hariyama. It's it's okay. I don't, <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of it. Iron Jugulus, Dark Flying. It's um, Hydreigon uh, from the future. This looks the most digimon of it all. It looks like Metal Greymon or something like that. Don't mind it. It's, it's okay. Some of these are a bit wacky. Um, Iron Thorns, which is Tyranitar from the future. I mean, it's Mecha Godzilla. I love Tyranitar. I love this. And yeah, I am completely sold on this one. Give me Mecha Godzilla any day. Iron Bundle. I actually really like this. Delibird needs a lot of love. And having like a metal future Delibird, um, robot Santa Delibird is very cool. So I'm, I'm a huge fan of Cyber Delibird. Give it to me any day of the week. Iron Valiant, Gardevoir, I've never liked. Gets so much love across the Pokemon fandom. Don't care for this. Don't care for Gardevoir. And uh, cool for people who do, but I don't care about this at all. Now we have some of the legendaries. We have... Ting Lu, a dark ground type. Interesting that they have Chinese sounding names given that it's a Spanish region, but I actually really like a lot of these. Ting Lu, very cool. We then have Chen Pao, this like saber tooth tiger. Maybe they're like from, from the past. I think that's what they are. Really like this. I think the fangs are a little bit long, but I don't mind it. Chen Pao, no idea what this guy is supposed to be, but he looks like a, I guess he's like a snail. Um, yeah, I think he is a snail. Um, dark grass snail and then chi yu which is a dark fire again don't know what that is i don't like him very much at all we then have Coridon and maridon we've known about them for a while i think they're both great designs and i really like them as legendaries then i assume the pseudo is is these guys here um tinker tink tinker tough and tinker ton fairy steel interesting because often the pseudos are big bulking monsters but these are more like cute fairy types and i actually do like these as these, yeah, these little fairy smurfs with giant hammers. I, I I don't mind them, to be honest. I think they're cool. And it's a cool different direction for pseudos. Um, we have seen 
Sharka Day, Amarouge, and Sarah Ledge. I think they're all cool. Again, a lot of people saying they're very Digimon y kind of Pokemon, but I actually think all of them are very cool. A lot of people also saying they're very Mega Man sort of esque designs. I, I like them a lot, to be honest. Um, then we have these weird other forms of old Pokemon. We have Toad's Cool and Toad's Cruel. I guess they're like Diglett and uh, Wiglet and Wug Trio for Tentacle and Tentacruel. Don't mind the designs. They become ground grass. Cool, whatever. Nothing huge for me. King Gambit, who is the evolution of Bisharp. Don't mind it. Um, I like the chess theme of this Pokemon, which is apparently only in the English version. Um, but yeah, I think they're cool. Claude Zaya, along with the Paldean Wooper. I don't mind as an evolution for Wooper. I think it's a cool, like, I don't know, mud otter design. It's poison ground. Reminds me a bit of Swampert and Waylord, um, just in design. And then maybe one of my favorites, but I'm not sure, is Annihilate, who is the evolution, the fighting ghost type evolution of Primeape. I think Primeape deserves a lot of love. He's a great great Pokemon and uh yeah I'm I'm pretty happy with this actually I like I like that it's like a defeated primate who's re primate who's really angry and I love the name Annihilate that is a great creative name then I think finally we have these new Tauros forms which makes sense because it's a Spanish region I think there's like I think it's like a fighting type Tauros then there's like a water type Tauros and a uh fire type Tauros. So there's three new Tauros forms. Really cool. Anyway, those are my thoughts on all the new Pokemon. Check out some of my other pop culture takes on this channel. And I just wanted, really wanted to do this and share my thoughts. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, view something else. See you later.